We're told to graph the image of triangle ABC after rotation by 90 degrees counterclockwise about the point 3 comma negative 5. And then later when we're done, they're going to want us to describe the rotation in coordinate notation. So pause this video, see if you could have a go at this before we do this together. All right, now let's work on this together. So in other videos, other examples, we've done pure rotations about the origin. What's different here is that we're rotating about the point 3 comma negative 5. So one way to handle this, and in my mind this is the easiest way to handle this, is to start by shifting the entire axis, do a translation, so that 3, negative 5 goes to the origin. Then we do our rotation the way that we have seen in other videos. And then we shift everything back. We essentially undo that translation. And the whole time, we should be keeping track of the rotation in coordinate notation. So what do I mean by that? So let's just start first by shifting. So if we're rotating around 3, comma negative 5, so 3, negative 5 is right over here. If we wanted to move that point and everything along with it to the origin, I want to shift to the left by 3. So whatever x coordinate I have, I want to subtract 3. And whatever y coordinate I have, I want to add 5 to move that to the origin. So the first transformation I want to do is this translation. So I'll say x comma y. Whatever x is, I want to shift it to x minus 3. And whatever y is, I want to shift it to y plus 5. So now the point 3 comma negative 5, it gets mapped onto the origin. And let's think about where everything else gets mapped to. Well, point C right over here, we're shifting 3 to the left. 1, 2, 3, and up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it will go right over there. Point B, 3 to the left and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it goes there. And then point A, 3 to the left, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up. So now our triangle is right over here. And now the next thing we want to do is rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise around this point, which is now the origin, which we have seen before. And I always like to remind myself, some of you already might know what that transformation looks like, but I always remind myself, if I'm at say the point, well let's just say the point four or zero four, so let's say I'm at the point zero four right over here. If I'm rotating 90 degrees counterclockwise, it's going to rotate over here. I'm going counterclockwise by 90 degrees. So it becomes, it goes to the point negative four comma zero. So that reminds me, and you could try that with other points, but we've seen this before. I'm not proving it to you, but I'm just making sure I'm doing the trans the transformation in my mind is the one that makes sense here. Whatever my x and y is, when I do a, a rotation 90 degrees counterclockwise, I then take the negative of the y, and that becomes my x. So the y was 4. I now have a negative 4 as my x. And whatever was the x now becomes my y. And we could try this with other points if, if you like. Now, we aren't just doing this rotation only. We're doing this rotation on top of this translation that we've already done. So if we want to do that rotation, let us now write the coordinate notation. So x comma y is now going to be, after we do the translation and the rotation, we're going to do this transformation with these coordinates here. So what was my y? I'm going to take the negative of that. So negative y plus 5. And what was my x now becomes my y. x minus 3. And now let us draw that. So if this point, let me do this in a red color. If the point, if we had this point here, which was originally our c, we could call this c prime or our first c prime, whatever we want to call it. If we now do this transformation, so my coordinate right over here, let me write it. This is negative 4, comma 5. It's now going to be negative 5, comma, negative 5, comma, negative 4. So it's negative 5, comma, negative 4. It goes right there. This point right over here is the point 
1 comma 11. After the transformation, it's going to become the point negative 11 comma 1. Negative 11 comma 1. It goes right over there. This is the point 4 comma 8. After transformation, it is going to be the point negative 8 comma 4. Negative 8 comma 4. So now our triangle has been mapped to this. This is after that rotation. Now about the origin. But now we want to shift things, now we want to shift things back so we have one more translation. We essentially want to do that previous translation. So we now want to do the last one where we add 3 to the x and we subtract 5 from the y to be able to shift our origin back to negative 3 comma, or I should say 3 comma negative 5. And so our last one, actually let me just draw it. We can shift everything to the right by 3 and down 5. To the right by 3 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To the right by 3, 1, 2, 3. Down 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To the right by 3, down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so that's where our triangle will end up on the drawing part. I copied and pasted this from Khan Academy. You have a tool there to actually move things around with your mouse. But this is where we end up. And then that last transformation we just did, we shifted everything back. We undid that. So our last transformation, when we, at, when we combine all of these transformations, I am now going to take whatever my x is, which was that, and now I'm going to shift it to the right by 3. I'm undoing this right over here. And then I'm going to take whatever my y value is, x minus 3, and I'm going to shift it down by 5, minus 5. And then we could simplify this. We could say x comma y. It gets transformed to, let's see, this is negative y. Let me just write it out. Negative y minus 5 plus 3. And then x minus 3 minus 5, this is x minus 8. And then let's see, this becomes, let me just write it over here. This is negative y minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. And then this is x minus 8. And we are done.